Hello, everybody from the Elizabeth Casey Show. It is the time of the year again in a school listening session. And I think we can all agree every child deserves a safe, clean, and healthy ride to school. Today is joining us, Emily Calandrelli. Thanks so much for joining, joining us. She's an MIT engineer and the Emmy nominator for the host of Emily's Wonder Lab on Netflix. Emily, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Tell me, how did you go from MIT to hosting a popular Netflix TV show? Right. So I have always been really excited about STEM outreach and inspiring the next generation of kids to be scientists and engineers. I've always loved going into the classroom and talking about science. And I think because of that, it was just a natural transition to go to this big nationwide science TV show, this international science TV show. I've always cared a lot about kids' futures, which is why I'm excited to talk to you today about propane school buses and how we can get a better, safe ride um, for our kids to school. Absolutely. How the, what does the sign tell us about school bus emissions? Right. So I think if a lot of people are like me, you may remember growing up with these old diesel school buses that have that thick black smoke coming out of the tailpipe, right? Well, in that thick black smoke are harmful emissions that are not just bad for the environment, but they're bad for our lungs. They're bad for our kids' lungs. But today we have better alternatives that are just marginally higher cost, but drastically reduce emissions like propane school buses. And how can in the buses, like you mentioned, can impact the environment? Right. Well, so propane school buses at a marginally higher cost, like we said, can reduce nitrous oxide emissions by 96% compared to diesel, which is incredible, right? That's much better for the environment. That's much better for our kids' lungs. And it costs a little bit more, but we have programs like the Environmental Protection Agency has a clean school bus program that is offering $5 billion over the next five years to help school districts upgrade their fleets so they can get school buses like this. And what else should we know about school buses safety? Yeah, so I think we can all agree that we want our kids to have a clean, safe ride to school. We want their air to be clean, the, the air that they breathe to be clean. And one of the ways that we can do this in an equ equitable way, because of course there are electric school buses. Right, We have electric school buses, but those are a little bit um, more expensive. You can get three propane buses for one electric bus. And that matters, right? You shouldn't have to be from a wealthy school district to be able to breathe clean air. And what I'm really excited about is because of this Environmental Protection Agency program, school districts around the country can now afford to upgrade their fleet. So if there are any uh, teachers or educators or parents watching who are interested in this sort of thing, you can learn more about it at betterourbuses.com. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. Anything else that you'd like to say? No, that's it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And we're going to go and check that out. I think it's very important and really appreciate taking some time. Yeah. Thank you.